Blood clot symptoms, signs and causes of blood clots. Blood clot is a mass that forms within the body. Clots are common and typically don't cause any problems. However, they can become serious if they break loose from their original site and travel to other parts of your body. This happens when the clot blocks one of your blood vessels. Blood clots are usually made up of platelets and fibrin. Platelets help stop bleeding by forming a plug at a wound site, while fibrin helps stabilize the clot. There are two types of clots. The most common one is a deep vein thrombosis and refers to a clot in any part of the body. Deep vein thrombosis is most commonly found in veins deep within the leg or pelvis. An embolism occurs when part of a deep vein thrombosis breaks off and travels through the bloodstream. It usually reaches an artery that's narrow enough to block off completely, causing an injury or stroke. A blood clot happens when a blood vessel leaks or breaks open, allowing blood to leak into the surrounding tissue. The leaking blood causes swelling, which can damage tissue such as brain cells or nerves in your eyes. This damage can lead to serious complications, including stroke or blindness. Bleeding into your body from an artery usually happens only once in a lifetime. However, it may happen more than once for some people with certain medical conditions like high blood pressure, heart disease, and diabetes. Thankfully, there are many signs of blood clots that you can watch out for. If you notice any of these symptoms mentioned below, you should see a doctor immediately. Before we proceed, please note that everything mentioned in this video is unbiased, fact-checked, and reviewed by qualified health professionals. With that said, let's jump in and talk about the most common signs and causes of blood clots. Number one, swelling and inflammation. Swelling is the most common sign of blood clots. This is because blood clots are made up of red blood cells and the plasma protein known as fibrinogen. The red blood cells can't pass through the walls of the arteries, so they start to accumulate in these small pockets or spaces within the artery wall. This causes the space to fill up with fluid that contains red blood cells, fibrinogen, and other substances that were present in the bloodstream. The swelling usually appears in the area closest to where the blood clot is. If you notice swelling in your limbs, it's important to see a doctor right away. You should also tell a doctor if you experience swelling in your face or neck, as this can be an indicator of a heart attack or stroke. Number two, pain in the limbs. Pain in the limbs is a common symptom of deep vein thrombosis. The pain usually occurs in the calf, thigh, hip, or buttock and may be accompanied by swelling and redness. The pain occurs because the blood clot blocks the flow of blood through the vein. When this happens, it causes inflammation and swelling of the vein walls. This can also cause pain when you move your leg. Number three, color change in the skin. Although it's not always possible to see blood clots, they can leave a mark on the skin. The discoloration may be a sign that you have blood clots in your body. When you have a blood clot in your leg or arm, it generally shows up as bruising or swelling. These bruises can be either black or blue, depending on the amount of blood trapped within the clot. In addition to color change, you might also experience tenderness in the area where your blood clot is located. The first thing people notice about a blood clot is that it's red or purple. If you notice any of these signs and symptoms, call your doctor right away. Red or purple patches on the skin are called petechia, and they're tiny red spots caused by bleeding under your skin. Petechia can appear anywhere on your body, but tend to be most common on your legs, hands, and face. Liking our video so far? Before we move on to the next blood clot sign, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on our new informative videos. Number four, trouble breathing. Blood clots can cause trouble breathing because they block the flow of oxygen-rich blood to body organs. This causes your heart to work harder to pump blood into your lungs so that it can be oxygenated. It also means that your heart has less energy available for other functions like pumping blood out of your heart to all parts of the body. This will cause your heart to not beat as fast as it should, so it will eventually lead to low blood pressure and dizziness. Number five, feeling nauseous or vomiting. 
Nausea and vomiting are symptoms of a wide variety of conditions, including viral infections, the flu, food poisoning, and more. Blood clots in the veins can cause nausea and vomiting by blocking blood flow through the veins. This can happen if you're taking birth control pills or hormone replacement therapy. Blood clots in the veins aren't usually serious and don't require treatment unless they become painful or cause swelling in your limbs or abdomen. Vomiting that lasts longer than 24 hours requires medical attention because it can be a sign of something serious. Number six, vision issues. It is not uncommon for people to experience temporary visual symptoms when they're having a blood clot. The most common symptom is blurry vision, but you may also notice that things look different or that you have halos around lights. Blood clots in the brain are also the cause of stuttering issues. They can occur during surgery or from injuries that lead to bleeding in the brain. When this happens, it's important to seek treatment as soon as possible because it can affect your ability to speak clearly and fluently. Number seven, diarrhea. Diarrhea is a common symptom and one that often goes hand in hand with other symptoms of deep vein thrombosis. When blood clots form, they can reduce blood flow throughout the veins they block. This means less oxygen-rich blood reaches organs throughout your body, including your intestines. The reduced oxygen supply can cause symptoms like abdominal pain, cramping, constipation, or diarrhea. Diarrhea may also occur when bacteria invade damaged tissue after a blood clot has formed. Number eight, high blood pressure. High blood pressure is a warning sign for heart attacks and strokes, but it can also be a warning sign for other problems, including blood clots in the veins. High blood pressure can make you feel tired, dizzy, or lightheaded, even when you're not doing anything active. You might feel this way if you have a headache, aching muscles, or feel nauseous. High blood pressure also puts extra strain on your heart and can damage your arteries over time. This can lead to serious health problems such as heart disease or stroke. If you have high blood pressure, it means that the force of your heart's contraction isn't enough to push the blood out of your heart and through the rest of your body. Causes of blood clots. Blood clots can be caused by a variety of factors, including trauma, surgery, or immobility. The risk of developing a blood clot increases with age and certain lifestyle habits. There are six main causes of blood clots developing. Number one, age. The main cause of blood clots is age. As you get older, the lining in your veins thins out and becomes more prone to developing clots. Blood thinners help prevent this by making it harder for the clotting process to occur. People who have had abnormal heart rhythms or chest pain caused by blood clots should talk with their doctor about whether they need medication to prevent further problems. Blood clots can also be caused by certain medical conditions such as cancer or other types of cancer treatments. Number two, a sedentary lifestyle. A sedentary lifestyle is the main cause of blood clots. Clots in your blood can be caused by too much sitting and not enough exercise. Blood clots are most likely to occur when you are sitting or lying down for long periods. When you sit or lie down for too long, you may notice that your legs feel heavy or swollen. This is a sign that your blood isn't flowing as it should through your veins and arteries. Exercise helps move and pump blood through your body so that it can reach all areas like your heart and brain without getting stuck in one place. Exercise also increases the amount of oxygen-rich blood flowing through your lungs and into your heart. This helps keep your circulation healthy overall. Number three, traveling frequently. Traveling frequently is a common cause of blood clots. If you travel frequently, you're more likely to develop a blood clot than if you rarely travel or never travel at all. When traveling by plane or train, it's important to move around as much as possible and avoid sitting still for long periods. Number four, genetics. Genetics is believed to be the main cause of blood clots in many cases. If you have a family member who has had blood clots, it's important to talk with your doctor about your risk factors and what you can do to prevent them from happening again. In some cases, certain genetic mutations may make it more likely for you to develop blood clots. This is called thrombophilia. Number five, obesity. Obesity is a leading cause of blood clots. Fat tissue produces more estrogen than other tissues in the body, which can contribute to clots forming. Fatty tissue may also reduce the ability of small particles in the blood that contribute to clotting to stick together. 
In addition, fat cells produce hormones that affect how blood clots form and dissolve. Number six, smoking. Smoking can increase your risk of getting a blood clot in two ways. It makes your blood thicker by reducing the amount of fibrinogen in your body. Fibrinogen is a protein that helps your blood to clot in your body. The nicotine in tobacco also reduces the amount of fibrinogen in your blood. This means that it takes longer for a clot to form when you're not smoking, but it also means that when you do get one, it's more likely to be dangerous. When you smoke, chemicals called nitrosamines go into your lungs and get absorbed into your bloodstream. They can cause damage to cells in the walls of your arteries, which make them more likely to become blocked with fatty plaques. These plaques narrow the arteries and make them less flexible, so they can't expand easily when your heart beats fast during exercise or stress. If you know you're at high risk for blood clots, your doctor may prescribe a medication to significantly reduce your risk. In addition to the medication, there are things you can do to prevent blood clots from happening in the first place. Do your best to avoid dehydration, always use compression socks, and don't forget to walk around daily. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this one. Thanks for watching. Your wellness is our mission.